Project planning follows a logical process. A plan is created assuming that the project has a fixed scope and has cost, effort, and time as its variables. Every project manager follows a logical scheduling model to create a project plan. The steps in this model are Determine the scope of the project by creating a list of tasks and subtasks to be performed. Add work, cost, and material resources required to complete each task or subtask. Add dependencies between tasks. Add the project schedule dates such as the planned start date, expected duration for completing tasks, and project constraints. Add a project baseline in order to view project progress. In addition to project planning, the project manager needs to review the actuals of a project. We will focus on tracking project actuals in the following slide. Planning a project properly is not enough. The project manager also needs to monitor the project progress to review the actuals. The term actuals refers to the actual work that has been done compared to the planned work, the actual cost versus the planned cost, and actual resource utilization versus planned allocation. A project's progress can be monitored by tracking the project completion percentage and comparing the actual start and finish dates with the project baseline. The progress is also checked by tracking a task level work by the duration taken to complete it. In this case, the project manager records the actual values on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Additionally, the project manager needs to track any delay in the project and adjust the project plan. He will also need to engage in reporting and troubleshooting. In the next slide, we will focus on adding the actual dates, duration, and work.